Today we are going to discuss the fundamental concepts of safety and liveness in a little bit of detail. Fundamentally, these uh, two concepts relate to the notion of correctness of a program. Intuitively, we would expect a program to eventually provide some answer. So the program should be responsive. For example, if you want to order something in a candy store and would send a request in a written form, we wouldn't like to wait forever. Eventually, we would like to get something. And of course, we would expect to get something that we ordered, not something else. These two sides of correctness can be expressed as liveness, something good should eventually happen, and safety, nothing bad ever happens. Well, by definition, we would expect that aliveness is something that can only be violated in an infinite time. In contrast, safety can be violated in a finite time. So these intuitive notions of liveness and safety were originally introduced by Lampert in the end of the 70s, and then later on they were formally defined and uh, analyzed by Alpern and Schneider for the case of infinite executions, and then extended by Nancy Lynch for the case of both finite and infinite executions. And this is the formulation we are going to use in the following. So let us try to define the notions of safety and liveness formally. First of all, we need to define the notion of a system trace, or program trace. So trace for us would be a sequence of observable events, all events that could be observed by an external entity. Let's define sigma as the event alphabet. In some sense, for example, that could be all possible program actions that can be externally observed. And respectively, we denote by sigma star all sequences of, of events. And we also consider not only all finite sequences of events, but also infinite, and we denote by omega a set of infinite event sequences. Now, a property would be just a subset of the set of all possible sequences. Okay, respectively, we would say that a program satisfies a property P, which is, as I said, a set of traces, if every trace of it is in P. Now, let us consider some property a set of traces, we would say that P is a safety property. If, first of all, P is prefix closed, meaning that for all sigma extended with sigma prime in P, it follows that sigma is in P. So here dot denotes concatenation of traces. And P is also limit closed, meaning that for all sequences of the form sigma 0, one trace, sigma 0 extended sigma 1, another trace, sigma 0 extended with sigma 1, extended with sigma i, etc. So we have an infinite sequence of ever-extended traces. So we have also that all of these traces are in P. It follows that the infinite limit of this sequence of traces, so the infinite trace of the form sigma 0 extended with sigma 1, extended with sigma i, etc., also belongs to P. So when a property is prefix closed and limit closed, we say that this is a safety property. The following two observations are in order. First of all, it turns out that to prove that a program is safe, meaning that it satisfies a given safety property P, it is enough to show that every finite trace of it is in P. So this intuitively follows from the fact that the set of all traces of a given program is prefix closed. Indeed, if you have a reachable trace of a program, then every trace which is a prefix of it is also reachable. Therefore, if we have an infinite trace of a program, each of its prefixes is also a trace of a program, and since uh, the property we want to prove is limit closed, once we prove that every finite trace of a program is in the property, then the limit of the sequence is also in the property. The second observation is that if we have an unsafe with respect to a given safety property trace sigma, meaning that sigma does not belong to P, it follows that there exists a prefix of it such that for all extensions of it we get an unsafe trace, which intuitively implies that an unsafe trace cannot be corrected. There is always a finite prefix of an unsafe trace from which you cannot get a safe trace by extending it. Now, now, what about liveness? How do we define liveness formally? So you would say that the property P is liveness if for all sigma, for all traces, for all finite traces, there exists an extension such that we eventually end up with a trace in the property. So in other words, no matter where we start, there's always a chance to get something good in the future. I'll give you a couple of examples. For example, the fundamental mutual exclusion property that says no two processes 
are allowed to be in their critical sections at the same time is a safety property because once it is violated it cannot be corrected intuitively the uh, observation freedom property for example it says that provided that no process stays in, in its uh, critical section forever every process in the trying section would eventually get in the critical section it is a liveness property because in any configuration there's always a chance that the process get in its uh, critical section so why these concepts of safety and liveness are interesting why it is important to categorize correctness properties in safety and liveness well one of the main reasons is that it turns out that whatever property we take there's always a safety property and a liveness property such that our property is in interest is the intersection of these two so for each property we, we can take we can always find some safety property and some liveness property that in the intersection gives the property we are starting with how do we prove this theorem we prove it by construction we start with the property and we construct the matching safety property and in fact we construct it as a prefix and limit closure of p define as follows first of all it is a set of all prefixes of elements of p union with set of all limits of sequences of converging sequences of traces in p so one way to interpret this formula is to say that s is the smallest safety property that contains p so what about the matching liveness property well here we proceed in an obvious way so what we do is we consider the set of all possible traces then we consider set p in it and we consider possibly larger set s and then we define l as a complement of s minus p which gives us following set p included well i forgot to say that by construction s is indeed a safety property because it's limit closed prefix closed so now what's what's remained to show is to show that l is indeed a liveness property it is remained to show simply because by construction l intersecting with s gives us p well, let's proceed by contradiction suppose that l is not liveness that is there exists sigma finite trace such that for all extensions of it we don't get into l so since no extension of sigma is in l sigma itself is not in l by construction l is uh, the complement of s minus p and also sigma is a finite trace so by construction sigma itself is not in l so in other words sigma is in s minus p because l is the complement to s minus p by construction the only finite elements of s minus p elements of s which do not belong to p are those that have extensions in p it follows by construction that there exists sigma prime such that sigma extended with sigma prime is in p but p is a subset of l there we have contradiction to the fact that no extension of sigma can appear in the property l which implies that l is indeed a liveness property so to summarize we indeed have shown that uh, any property whatever set of traces we take it can be represented as an intersection of a safety property and a liveness property so as a side remark we can uh, actually define topology on the set of traces we consider the set of traces sigma star omega set of all finite and infinite traces we can define open balls on this topology as the set of all traces with a common prefix and uh, an open set would be a finite or infinite union of open balls and a closed set would be the complements of open set in this topology it turns out the safety property would naturally be closed sets a liveness property would be the dense sets the sets such that every open ball would contain some life execution this indeed immediately follows from the definition of an open ball for whatever prefix we start we would have an extension which means some element in the neighborhood which is life and the safety would be closed set naturally again because uh, all elements which are not in the safety property are actually a union of open balls and uh, naturally in this topology i can show that every set of traces is an intersection of a closed set and a dense set that can be proved directly using this simple topological definitions i'll conclude with some examples so if we take the classical problem of distributed consensus where a set of processes start with uh, private inputs and then the end of computation they need to agree on one of the common input the property which says that no two processes output different values is a safety property property which says that eventually every correct not crashing process outputs a value would be liveness a mixed property would be for example saying that uh, eventually every correct process outputs a value v such that no process has previously output a different value and that would be 
an intersection of safety and liveness. So the corresponding uh, liveness property would be the one which says uh, that eventually every correct process outputs a value, and the corresponding safety property would probably be the, the one which says that no two processes decide differently. And the mixture of the two would be this uh, mixed property we just uh, defined. To summarize, safety and liveness, two sides of correctness in programs. Safety would say that nothing bad would ever happen, and uh, when you check correctness of a given problem, you need, you need to check that a safety holds in all finite traces. To show that your program does something useful eventually, you should check liveness in all infinite traces. And then, finally, given that whatever correctness criterion you have is an intersection of safety and liveness, you finally have shown that your program is correct.